Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. So, at the end of the last episode, or during the last episode, I was setting up cobblestone generation. Now, I've just started up the game from the beginning and I haven't done anything yet. And what normally happens when I've not done anything is this. Everything gets filled up, filled up because I'm not disposing of all the rubbish. Uh, for example, if I look here for chest, Oh, oh, I haven't got any actually, so that's interesting. Leggings. I've got leggings in here. Actually, that's quite a good pair of leggings. We'll keep those. And other items. Let's look for tank. I've got lots of tanks from mobs. I don't think I'm actually going to need these, but what I do is I take them like this. I'll take six. I'll go along here, put them into this hopper. Like that. And then they get filled up. And then they end up down here as full tanks. I'll take that one out actually. Um, I'm sure I shouldn't take that out. I'm going to put it. I'll leave it in over here because I'll need it again. So what I'm going to do is to sort that out. First of all, let's have a look. No, I want to show you something else first. Let's go upstairs. Uh, in here, I have set up some automation. What I was doing is I was just changed this here to take bedrocky mingots and I put a crafting card in here so these will get crafted and then they get smelted in here. So at the moment it's got 5,000 millibuckets of uh, bedrockium. So that's been working very well overnight because that has also gone downstairs and has filled up these two tanks and I haven't cheated these two, they are just simply full three tanks so we've got 48 buckets of bedrockium so we can progress and do the the next part of the quests or we can start to build the rocket anyway so usually what happens is these get filled up with bows and stuff like that now in here I also exported the stuff to, to bows and stuff as you can see and to be honest with you I don't need them I'm just going to dump them off so let's if I break this now, it's going to make a mess, but I'm going to do it anyway. And I'm going to put down here that. And in this chest, I've probably got the same thing going on with the armour and stuff like that. So let's just take these bows and put them somewhere else. Where can we put them? I really need an import, don't I? Tell you what we'll do. Let's put an import bus on this one here. Have I got an import bus? Yes, I have. Of course, it's going to throw bows around. So I simply import the bus into here like that, and everything will get pulled out of here. And we can start to push the stuff that we don't want into here like this. And as I'm shift, -cli I'm shift, double, uh, shift, control, shift clicking this in, and it's basically pushing everything into there. So those bows are basically going into the system, and they're actually getting disposed of in here. So let's just take the ones out of here because I don't think I need any of these. Maybe I'll keep that one. I think that was my good bow. Let's put that into there like that. Shift click that into there. Oh, I can't. It's already come out with some other stuff. So we'll just put these ones in here that we don't want XP boosts in here. And just keep the one in there. So I can basically. I've still not got enough space. So I've been doing this every time I've been logging in. I've actually normally been repairing the boats, but I've decided it's a waste of time. Even though they've got some quite good bows. Oops, I'm just disposed of the one I wanted. Never mind. I don't think we need them. Right. So now if I go upstairs again, we should find that everything's actually out. It's updated. So what I did here, this is at the finished off uh, product. What Zero Life said is basically the only thing that was fast enough were um, item conduits with, and this one here, it's got, if I look at this one here, um, I'm going to use this one, right click it, no, it's just left click it. I've got 15 upgrades in this one, which basically does it max speed, stack at a time. So they're coming into here like this, and as you can see, these are compressed cobblestone coming out of this. A reasonably fast rate and this is actually ending up into let's take something I don't want to click something with 
as you can see this is actually coming up so what have we got double compressed cobblestone so we're getting about one double compressed cobblestone a second or maybe more so that's the triple compressed cobblestone is also going to go up fairly quickly probably every 10 seconds or so we're going to get a triple compressed cobblestone I know I don't want to watch that so what I found out is that in here it's just about keeping up now there's no problem it's getting rid of all of the items just fast enough so it's making cobblestone out of here and here I've got two decomposers decomposing silicon dioxide I found that with one with one it was just getting full so everything comes into out of here straight away so then here we've got this and of course this is now doing uh, obsidian straight away goes out so no there's no backlog at all everything comes through here very nicely and all of these 16 as you can see the cobblestone filling these up is going there all the time so it's been very efficient and it's very good now one thing i'm going to do because i don't have any cobblestone in the system anymore is i'm going to put onto this a uh, storage bus i'm going to put it on this one here like that because we then we then we will have some um storage cobblestone in the system so we can use that i discovered that because i was making two trash cans like that so then we basically got everything now available so we should have 40,000 cobblestone available the next thing I'm going to look at is this uncompressed coal I have got stacks and stacks of it and I think yeah that isn't going to help because that's already blocking up the system have I got another spare cash on me so what, we, what we can do with this of course is we can actually make diamonds or nano carbon nanotubes so that's the exercise of today's goal i think now the first thing we're going to do is also get some auto crafting going i think uh having looked at the things we've done i'm just i'm picking up stuff that's being thrown out of somewhere because the system is so full and i reckon it's getting full now because of still types oh no we've got a little bit of space now so what we might do is 1.6 million uncompressed coal I think this is what we need to sort out next and what I've got here is two chemical synthesizers and one chemical decomposer for that I also need some journals of course let's put uh, these away I don't want those with me journals chemist journals so I need books and glass I've got two books good that will do for the two books however these leg leggings are actually are not too bad to, to keep you leather leggings you can make those up and what you can do with those you can come along here and shove them in the sawmill like that they get chopped up as long as they're whole and they get converted to leather so we've got three pieces of leather out of that one pair of boots which is actually quite good it's only cost four to make them in the first place it's a reasonable return so we got sp sp spare stuff for books so we want some glass don't do those then we get two chemist journals good they stack oh actually i've already got some more chemist journals anyway don't need that i'll keep the compressed coal with me and i don't need these two i don't know where they're coming from so now in fact if I go downstairs, I should have that all set up on the caches over here. I don't think they're full. But maybe they are. Let's have a look. No, they look reasonably okay. They don't, they don't look too full. So where are we going to do this? I think we'll have to do this somewhere we've got power. So power's coming down here, so we can start to do this down here. I think it's probably a good place to do it. So what we're going to do first of all is we're going to export out of here into a, a synthesizer so the power i think comes down this row it does yes so let's break this up i might need some more power cables oops i didn't mean to do that i meant to use this one never mind it's easy enough to put back as long as i haven't broken anything i wanted that is huh which it looks like I have because I've knocked a power cable out of here and here I think so let's put the these are picked up to look right mm -hmm. 
Where are those blocks? Well, just to be honest with you, that's not the first time I've used the RF pickups for doing that. Oops, actually it doesn't matter, it can be on that one. I wanted to put it back down here. In fact, that might be, no, that'll be fine. So we basically come along here, we can put underneath here these cables. So if we come up here, we can put a chemical decomposer on that. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, yeah, that's fine. The reason I was hesitating because I had to think about it a little bit. So we've got a chemical decomposer. So into the top of this de decomposer, we can put an export bus into carbon. So let's get the carbon export bus going first of all. Let's move one of these out of the way. So we can export into this carbon like that. And we can probably put the speed upgrades in there as well. So this will be should get filled with carb oh, chemical synthesizer. Wrong machine. Right, okay, no problem. Just quickly break that. And get the and get the decomposer. In fact, that should, should oh yes, it's coming in now. Look. So we got, that's going to be filled up with carbon fairly quickly because it doesn't take too long to decompose that. So out of the side of this, we need to take the items and they need to go into the side of a um, synthesizer. It doesn't need to go into the top. So I'm making some more space down here for more cables. Let's bring those down like this and bring them up. So I would like to leave one space there and then we come up here and we need to come up two um, because the synthesizer needs to come out the bottom. So we'll power, we'll power them up at the side I think. So I'll just dig down again. <laughs> I'll take that off there and that off there and of course we'll do this one and this one. Actually I do need that one there but never mind. Let's just connect these up. So we should be able to place it Ah, yes. I need it to come out the bottom. It has to come out of the bottom of the synthesizer. And I can't put it up here because <laughs> of the cables in the way. I've got to move this. Or, I know what I'll do. It can be any side, can't it? So let's just take these two away. If I keep misusing my stuff like this, I'm going to have to... Right, so we can put the synthesizer here. Actually, I want to put it. Let's put this out like that and then put the synthesizer. Nope, I want this space, don't I? Well, I'm doing well. Tell you what, the easiest thing to do is to move this stuff up here one level. And then to remove these. So, so I want the synthesizer to come up here, but I want it to be attached to the back. So let's just put a cable down here. And it's got to come out the bottom, so let's put the cable there like that, so we can put the synthesizer on this. Like that. So then the items can come in here and go in this side. They come out the bottom and they go into the side of the next one. So we'll do the same thing again. I think I might need to go here. So in this case, I can simply bring the power across. Like that, and then put the other synthesizer down here like that. Good. So it'll come down the bottom, go in the side. It doesn't have to go in the top. So in this case, we need to connect this up here like this. So we'll do that. And then I can remove this. 
next thing I can then replace these blocks down here I'll move that out of the way and use this one as the other one Hang on now. so that's reasonable and then we can fill in this bit because I, I think I might leave these cables underneath here because it's not a bad place to have a cable anyway you know next automation may be along here so that's those two should be now powered up great they are so what I now need is some um, item ducts and I've got plenty of those actually they're not too expensive they should be expensive but there's a second recipe where they're not too expensive in fact let's just show you that before I do anything else the recipe for that so you've got the assembly table recipe which is the one which would be expensive and you've got the standard pulsating iron recipe here which is shape crafting gives you eight compared to that which gives you one <clears throat> well, that's another bug for uh, it's only basically time savers when i'm to be honest with you it's nothing else just saving time because this pack as you as with most of Caitlin packs they're a bit on the long-winded side sometimes so that can come out of the side like this and go into the side uh, into the side of this one move that bit there I didn't need that one and then we just need to I shall take the yetter wrench is actually more useful so that wants to come out always active I think that's a shift a right click on this one yep it's a right click and that sets it back and then this wants to be insert so let's just insert that one which is simply just right click this one so that's now going to fill this one up if we look at this inside of this one with carbon so we're going to make nan nanotubes for that so we're basically getting lots of carbon for that so the next stage after this is we're going to make diamonds so it's going to come out the bottom here like this and then we don't need those two connecting so we'll disconnect that first of all right click it with the wrench and then we'll put this one down here and so it goes into this side here we don't need this extracting from here because it's not going to do anything anyway so we'll simply right click this until it disappears and then right click this so it goes insert and then of course the output side is going to be on the bottom of here so we're going to output and break that with a right click in fact we don't need to do that do we we can simply use a ME interface because we're going to be importing diamonds but for the sake of demonstration I think what I'll do is I'll do that later on I'll put a chest down here like this and then set that into an import insert like that good so now we need to go upstairs and make some recipes for nanotubes and stuff I think that'll be fairly straightforward. Let me just check what I need. If I've got my, uh, have I got a diamond? Yes, I have. I'm sure. Five thousand. <laughs> well, no shortage of diamonds. Can I make an industrial diamond out of this? No, I can't. This is that buggy recipe. Well, I think it's a buggy recipe that gives you this thing, a weather charm, which you don't need, as far as I can see, in any case. Can we put this into that? No, we can't. We need an industrial diamond okay now an industrial diamond we're going to have to make the hard way so we need a nanotube oh maybe i've got some nanotubes in the system i think i have i think i kept some nanotubes back here we go one carbon nanotube fantastic so we can take this recipe we'll cut to here and put one of these books into that and then put the carbon nanotube recipe in there. Great. Select the recipe. And we can go downstairs. And then put that into the synthesizer. Yeah, of course it goes into there. Fill that up that's going to make carbon nanotubes what I haven't done of course but I haven't extracted those so what we do with this oh, I've got too many carbon in here 
Oops. Well, they'll soon disappear, don't worry. So that we simply shift left click this, and then we can set extract, right click it, or it's always active. So now we're going to get into here, nanotubes, fantastic. And I can simply then put this back in there like that. So obviously this is then going to be, I probably need some speed upgrades on this. That's all we're doing here. Yeah, that's full. Let's set this one and I've got some speed upgrades. Let's put in, I've put in all nine for that matter. So this should fill up fairly quickly. And is this filling up? That's yeah, still working fine. I probably need to make some more speed upgrades. Maybe not. Maybe I need to speed this one up as well. Oh, I've got four already. <laughs> so that's maxed. If I want to make it go faster, I can. That's it. I can't do anything. Because I've add another item. So in here we've got this. Now we've got ten. So we need three of these. Take all. Actually, eleven. Let's go and put those upstairs. And I want to do in the recipe book, don't I? Ah, uh, no, I don't. I want to synthesize it first. So I've got a res oh, I've got one. I didn't do that. I should have done that. We want one industrial diamond. And if I'm not mistaken, it's just three. Yep, that's it. We can take this out of here like this. Or we can put it into this chest. Let's put it into this chest. So let's shift left click this again. Um, up chemical synthesizer. Oh yes, that's right. So we want this to be always active. Right click. And then we've got that should come into here. So we've now got four diamonds coming into the system. Let's just take one of these diamonds. In fact, take all four. I'm going to put this into the book. Wrong place. I need to be in the mic in the room with the microscope. I we'll take that nano tube out of there. We put a diamond into there, and then we put a book with nothing in it, which is this one. And then that recipe is in this book, and so it's a diamond. So let's take this out of here now, and right click this. Oops, missed. Try again and select industrial diamond. So now I'm going to put this nano tube back in. It was actually in this chest, wasn't it? Put it back there. So now we should be getting rid of our excess carbon at a very fast rate. Which actually doesn't really matter that much. Let's have a look. One more diamond. Let's put that into there. So we've got five diamonds. Let's put this recipe book into there like that. So there we go. So we're getting nanotubes at a reasonably fast rate as fast as the system can output those as you see those all four as soon as that fills up those will disappear and make one more nanotube I'm not sure what's actually slow here four there we go let's move those over there right so that's how that's working so that's that bit done so the next thing we're going to do We'll leave those into that chest and we'll see how many we get by the time I've finished in 10 minutes time. Let's do some more recipe crafting. Now, what we've got to do is we need to go back to our tier three rocket. So this is the recipe for that. So this one here shouldn't be too difficult now. We've got 32 iron, titanium machine and aluminium. I think I might have already made this one. Have we made the en engine? I've got plenty of those. Booster, isn't it? I'll call these boots. I've got, I've got to get rid of those as well. But that's a, a later exercise, I think. I'll do that off camera. Same as the other ones for the other bits. Heavy rocket fins, I think. So titanium, steel, and okay, aluminium. Let's have a look. I press the T again, of course. What's happened here? It's got 
Unless the press. Oh, okay. There was our titanium. We haven't made it yet. Okay, good steel. Iron holes. Got 64. We need 32 of those. And the other one was aluminium, if I remember right. Got 16. That was what my problem was last time. I couldn't make the rest of these, could I? So we can craft those. Let's have aluminium. Let's look for hull. Because they're not going to jump around so much then. Let's craft one. Uh, we need 16 of these, don't we? That's no restriction, so we can get on with do that. Because it was the blocks of aluminium that we're short of. In fact, this doesn't know how long this is going to take, so look what we're crafting at the moment. I'm also crafting 4K storage components. And I reckon that's broken, because that's stopped. So let's just... You see it says green, but it's not. Let's cancel that one. And this one too, because I think there's a problem with those um, automatic... Uh, what do they call inscribing machines? They seem to believe well, that I've got it wrong or whatever. So in here we should have some. Yeah, it's making some processes. What's it making? Some aluminium holes. Fantastic. Okay, that's good. So the next one is the more difficult recipe to automate, I think. And that is the. Let's have a look at this one. That's not too bad. Steel holes. Just a very long time to make. It was this one, because we need twenty thousand millibuckets of, of bedrockium to make one of these iron holes and blocks of dash. I don't think that's going to be too difficult, but we need twenty of them. So, so for the time being, I'm going to put them on the and the, actually the RF it uses very little, which is strange. So we can do this now. Let's go and get some of those refactory blocks. How many spaces have I got? Six. Let's say I've got six spaces. Let's take these 16 and put those into here. I can't click it. I should be able to put these into here like this. And then I should be able to configure it so it's got the inputs on that side. Yes, that's fine. And this one here, I've got 8,000 already. So we'll put the output on this side as well. So there you go, down. Get into here. Then they should be available for us to, to use. What I'll do is I'll set up the automation of this because that's a good one because we need 20. So 20 of those, let's do, we need. Ah oh yes, this was to remind me to, to tell you about this. If I look at this, refactory container, liquid steel. If you look at the recipe for the uses of this one by pressing U, you'll see it says it makes a heavy duty plate, tier three, which is actually what we're doing. But unfortunately, it doesn't work. So that was that one. I'm gonna, Let's have a look. Can I do a heavy duty plate tier three in here? Let's do that one. Now, last time I couldn't find this because I didn't put a dash between the heavy duty. So I was placing heavy duty tier six, heavy duty plate tier two. Here we go, tier three. Let's put one of those in there. Like that. 64. And then we can put this into there. And then come along here, and then we can put this into this one I think because I've got a space in this one but to move these across here because for some reason it didn't seem to be working on the other side on this one and I don't know why it just they just didn't work what I also did is I added a fourth laser plus um because we've got lots of power these days and I tried to actually uh, use a, a what was it uh, an efficiency four on this, but it wouldn't actually enchant up, up more than three. So that was that. What's it doing? Yes, it's making these tier one ME storage components at the moment. 
because I'm trying to make these tier fours and I've got 13 because basically the tier four is is the way on the way to make the 64k ones which is just very slow so anyway let's get on with this I should have got some aluminium holes in here now yeah I got the 16 so now I've got the 32 that we need to make that last component and we can also make this let's have a look for the heavy we can craft one of these we've got everything we need let's start that off because that's not going to work properly but while that's, while that's doing that ah, this one will do let's put these four components in here and I should be able to make the heavy duty rocket engine It's got heavy duty rocket fins as well, so that must also be there. And how much RF does that need? Oh, tons. <laughs> 1.5 billion RF to do that. Well, that's all right, we can leave that. And you'll see in here we've got these eight plus the red bed rockium container. So, what I've got to do next is set up some automation to fill these in on demand. Actually, that's not too difficult. Let's go and have a look at doing that. I also need to tick this one on, of course, otherwise it won't get done. And that'll get done next, and it'll get done very fast too. So what we're going to do for that is it's very simple. We'll do it the same way as I did the aluminium blocks downstairs. So we need a fluid transposer. I don't think I've got one set up. automation that is where is it now probably then oh, it's got lots quite a few pages of this let's have a look is it fluid space transposer yes indeed it is so that's just 10 iron ted redstone and one reception coil so let's have a look what do we got for that redstone reception coil. we got that no problem i can craft 10 of these so I'm not going to and we need iron I'm going to use my time time cons time saving way to do that my time saving way to do that is downstairs just come along here to the stoop bug and just take out the fair 10 of these like all 64 as it happens But certainly I don't have a shortage of res um, a shortage of resources, I just have a shortage of time. So that's my excuse. So that, let's get those into here. We want this. And of course this this thing's so busy at the moment and I'm gonna have to put it into this one because of the way it works. Good. And that finished off very fast, so we want the fluid transpose of this one. that is how much power oh let's just tick this one off a second and do that let's stick it off until it's done that one otherwise we'll wait forever there we go it's because we've got a fluid transposer now we take these back blocks back so we don't need that so now we have our fluid transposer we got these and we'll take the fluid transpose where's it gone to ah I think I know what's caused this we're going to have this problem it's going to be stuck in an interface I'll bet you yes it is look and the heavy duty plate fantastic look, well that's actually good because we can then fix that at the same time because I think this is all filled up again yeah I would expect it to not work properly so what we can now do is fix this recipe up so we've got that and that actually makes one of those that's just good and then let's clear off the system here that recipe because it's not going to work cancel that now so it's only making that one of them that's fantastic okay good so the idea we also need an emmy interface because i haven't got one of those as there yet So 
So what I'm going to do is actually, yeah, I can do this recipe as well. I didn't update that, did I? <laughs> what did I just do here? Picked up the plate. Okay, fine. Let's put this in. So what I'm going to do is to take... Oh, where's that gone to? Oh, it's been used up, of course. Let's go and get another one. I'm running out of time here, so... What I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this, this step off, and then we'll do the automation of this next time. So there we go. Another one of these. So what I'm going to say is that the automation is very straightforward. We clear that off. So we're going to make, we're going to use one of these, it's going to make one of these. Like that. And then we put that into the fluid interface on the fluid transposer. Actually, I can already do that, can't I? I've already got this fluid transposer. Fluid transposer resident. Ah, oh, no, that's got aluminium in it. That's got water in it. I have to do an, use another one. So, that's it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. Maybe you've learnt something new. And anyway, thanks again, Zero Life, for that tip. It's a really good one. Because I was getting so stuck with bedrocking, it's not true. So, until next time, bye for now. <laughs>